going to be working on 7th grade unit 5 lesson 10. The lesson is multiply. So today's only goal is to be able to solve problems that involve multiplying rational numbers. Okay, just like when we worked yesterday, a positive times a negative equals a negative, even when you're dealing with different numbers like fractions or decimals. So you could multiply 3.1 times negative 4.5. We could do that straight out. Just like any normal multiplication problem, you could do 3.1 times 4.5 and then know your answer is going to be negative. Remember at the end, since we have two decimal points right here, we're going to move the decimal two back, and we have an answer of 13.95, but because it's a positive times a negative, we're going to have negative 13.95. And also, a negative times a negative is always a positive. So if we have some mixed numbers or fractions to multiply, we can do the same process. So remember, we're going to change negative 2 and a half. Just change 2 and a half to 5 over 2. And we have negative 3 fourths. We can call that 3 fourths. And when we're multiplying, we go straight across. So 15 over 8. And because it's a negative times a negative, we're going to leave that as a positive answer. And you may also want to rewrite that as 1 and 7 eight. All right, a little bit of a challenge. How would you find the product of this expression if there's three terms? All right, you're allowed to multiply in any order that you want, but if we have negative 4 times negative 5 times negative 2, if you choose to go left to right, you would do negative 4 times negative 5, and you would get a value of positive 20, and then you would multiply that answer by negative 2. So now we have a positive times a negative, and we get negative. All right, so what we learned today is no matter if you have fractions, decimals, or integers, a negative times a negative always equals a positive, and a positive times a negative always equals a negative.